Rosalind Elsie Franklin was born in London on July 25, 1920. She was the second of five children in a prominent Anglo-Jewish family. She attended State Paul School for Girls, which emphasized preparing its graduates for careers, not just marriage. She demonstrated an early aptitude for math and science. She spoke excellent French, good Italian, and passable German. Instead of staying an extra year for more college preparation, she left State Paul's in 1938 to enter New Hampshire College, one of two colleges at Cambridge University. She majored in physical chemistry. She received her BA in 1941 and was awarded a scholarship for a further year of research and a research grant from the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research spent that year in the laboratory of R.G. W. Norrish, a noted pioneer photochemistry. She also has a school named after her called Rosalind Franklin University of Medicine and Science. In 1950, Rosalind was awarded a three-year Turner and Newell Fellowship to work in John and Randall Biophysics Unit at King's College in London. Four years after her death, James Watson, Francis Crick, and Maurice Wilkins accepted the 1962 Nobel Prize in Medicine and Physiology. None of them credited Rosalind in their acceptance speeches. She worked with Ronald Norrish at Cambridge and also Raymond G. Gosling. She also worked with Jackus Maring and... They developed the techniques in X-ray crystallography, which was a leading-edge technique to explore the structure of the atoms and the molecules. Maurice H. F. Wilkins was a man who she did not have a good relationship with. He sold her DNA pictures to James Watson and Francis Crick, and that is how, today, we all believe how they got credited for the evidence to complete their establishment of the DNA structure. Rosalind laid the foundations for James Watson and Francis Crick's double helix discovery. She made the fundamental studies of carbon and graphite microstructures, and also she developed the x-ray pictures of DNA, which were of crystallographic portraits. Rosalind discovered the tobacco mosaic virus structure and also researched on the structure of the polio virus. She kept a sample of the crystallized polio virus in her fridge. Rosalind also built a model of the tobacco mosaic virus to present in the 1958 World's Fair. On April 16, 1958, Rosalind passed away in London, England.